Down under. And um, what do you think? Why Australia? It's been a very popular country, very good at children's t- and teen TV. How yeah, we love the, the success we love the, the little squirts. Home and away, neighbours, ocean girls, round the twist. That was my favourite. Yeah, one. Uh, Secret Valley. Did you get that? Oh one? no, that sounds really Secret good Valley. though. Going around the twist. That one. That's good, isn't it? I love that show. It was a great, great show. Great book. Series is alright. I didn't know it was a book. Dig on the spider. Have you ever felt, felt like, like this? this? Very good. When strange things, things happen, happen. you go going around, around the twist. twist. It's set in a... Lighthouse. Yeah. A lighthouse. Mm-hmm. And extra kind of surreal, weird... Yeah, there was always a kind... It was a kind of a really ambiguous ending always where there'd be somebody would turn into a cat or... The, the parents seemed to be nowhere. Like in all good 90s television programs of kids, parents were absent. And there was always one parent dead. So it was the dad was the lighthouse keeper. Mm. And he was just never there. And these kids would be doing crazy stuff and they'd be having really serious relationships with the other at about nine. You know, just yeah. cool yeah. stuff that you don't do now. It was like the X-Files of kids wasn't it yeah Kinda, yes. but very like, good ki- like I don't know if you remember being a kid when that kind of thing happens like if like a traumatic event essentially like there's a a, a murder yeah. or a dead animal you'd be quite in shock and upset and crying yes whereas yes. these kids were like well let's solve it <laughs> you're like yeah. why did you get those skills at the age of nine yeah. to solve a, a thing you'd, you'd run to your parents they had no problems at all you just did coping mechanisms mechanisms were great it's the same with those famous five brats did you want read those i or read those, those a long yeah. time ago oh I read enid blyton enid blyton i reread them why, why, why did you re- reread them? Oh, well, I have very low IQ and it seems to be dead to the ground and a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> low you IQ, thought about re-reading a lot of time. Uh, it was five. either Take Let's a Break it. magazine or Read between the five. lines, you know, all, this, all the innuendos <laughs> that you wouldn't have got as a kid. No, oh, I, w- I know, because I was teaching Ranga Hain first class. So I thought, oh, I could take out this. I love this as a kid. Oh, my God. Now, they've probably edited them, but the original ones are so racist really really classist basically the famous five's dad is a scientist and every summer and it's always summer he packs the famous five off to a farm where first of all they'll always meet first thing they'll meet a jigaboo who's working on the trains what's a jigaboo it's a racist slur kind of an old-fashioned racist slur for a person of color uh Aideen did the quotation marks yes i did the quotation marks <laughs> for that so and this she's is, quoting I'm enid blyton <laughs> yeah this is right? enid blyton talking yeah. not us so what, 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 you, what when was it written in the okay. 50s, 50s maybe not 40s, to justify 50s, anything 60s. it was a just different because even jigaboo i've never be heard shouting, here you boy come here and they just so they start commanding adults around then they go to this farm and there's these basically they describe this stupid farmer class people that are minding them they're really kind and they're bossing these people around and these people are like oh little master Famous. julian you're so clever master julian and then they come up against somebody else of color or a skinny weird man and they would f- they would just arrest him for just not being posh like them it, it you couldn't really re- i had to stop reading them they were just so bad wow <laughs> it's like just the it's kind of the famous the, five i remember no, no they they readapted them in the 70s to make it a bit more woke i believe now um timmy the dog and timmy the, the dog, dog. Yeah. timmy was the most racist of all of them <laughs> <laughs> No, not at all. And it's funny how you say in the 70s they changed and make it more woke. It's like, no, there wasn't really woke there, but they just had to, like, they realised everything they were doing was wrong. Yeah, it was just (laughs) normal. It was, like, it was was updated to not being completely cruel. It's funny the difference between, like, people who thought things were, when they were progressing, people would have thought that that is bad, that that, oh, you're too politically correct. For saying yeah. what we now see as like, Jesus Christ, that's just basic humanitarian. Yeah. You know? Yeah, um, exactly. And people are going, oh, I can't believe that. When I was young, it, when I was in primary school and secondary school, it was like, like I mean, homosexuality was only legalized in Ireland in 1993. How old were you? I was two years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was very bright. I was very concerned. I was very woke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like unhappy Crawling in my around nappy. rainbow nappies. Yeah, unhappy it's in my white nappies. Why are you guys not allowed to yeah. marry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 My yeah. first words were equality for all. Yeah, I, yeah. Was, I, was, I was an amazing baby. Yeah. You didn't do hands, knees, and toes. Just LGBT. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah, I was, no, I was 10. Okay, you're 10. I was 10 so years you old. Remember. No. I remember no because the television would have been turned off as soon as that David Norris came on the news. 
gone. Really? My parents protected me from this kind really? of thing. Yeah, I remember the first time. So I, there was a program called House of Cards on RTE, but it was the original House of Cards, not the modern one with... Um, uh, not the one with Spicy in it. Spicy in it. No, mm. it had a way more creepy guy. More creepy than Spicy? Even more creepy than Spicy, oh, wow. yeah. And was it, was, it a set, was it set in Britain? It was set in Britain and it was so creepy. It's mm. really good. It's amazing how they took that, like, which was about three, it was a mini series and they stretched out to the whole House of Cards. Wow. And um, Francis Urquhart was the pr- pr- president, prime minister. And one of his assistants was in bed with another man. And my mother just turned off the TV, which I would have just thought, oh, they're having a sleepover. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but the fact that she turned off the TV and said, brush your teeth and do wee wee's. Bye, 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 bye. And I was like, this, this, I'm going to something here now. It must be taboo. And then she said, do you know what, uh, do you, do you know what um, gay is? And I said, yeah, happy. And she was like, yeah, okay, good night. So then I remembered this. So I asked my dad what gay was. And he was like, ask your mother. And then I asked mommy what gay was. And she was like, look it up in the dictionary and then I went to the dictionary I looked up gay and it went see lesbian and then looked really? up lesbian. lesbian and the the dictionary just and burnt into flame <laughs> <laughs> so instead of gay like see lesbian it just gave me it just, an it just, it's a real it was a real yeah. catholic dictionary you get to lesbian see homosexual yeah, yeah. and then yeah. it just keeps it around page 72 go to page 72 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it said you're gay yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah gotcha yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you look up gay and it says see father feeny 10 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> call your confession yeah, five Hail Marys. And so it, the I, Catholic I dictionary. Know. And then my mother, so I asked my mother again, and she was like, okay, look, it's when two men are in a relationship, but they make love by, they one of the men sticks his penis in the other man's bottom. Your mum says this to you? Yeah, she did. How old she, were you? In sixth class, and she went... Six, is that 10? That's quite young. Yeah, that's it is. 11, yeah. It was a bit too much information. She said, and that's the bit I can't get on board with Aideen. <laughs> Was that the I bit? Know, yeah. That was the bit she couldn't get on board. Straight people love it. Everyone loves anal styles, sex of all the creeds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not, not. Just not your mum, fair enough. Maybe. Yeah. I'll note that in my diary. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she's like, I hope that demo isn't going to try and stick it up my bum now when I meet him. <laughs> oh, I hope not. <laughs> Turn the TV off. Bye, 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 bye. So, um, I can't die when everyone loves off the clacker. And we weren't allowed to talk about it in school. And then, so gay rights. And it was my parents saw that as so strange. But eventually my mother started to come to, to us. She had a gay hairdresser. Then she met another gay man and she was sold. My dad, it took him years. Well, you just years. need to meet. You just need to meet enough of whatever enough you of don't understand. Until you I like want to say whatever. I mean, like, whatever yeah. you think th- this, like, everyone's the same. Well, our souls are all the same. But whatever you yeah. think makes them different, you just need to meet enough of those people with the differences it's that you don't right. understand until you go, oh, I get it. It's, yeah. it's the same as us. Like, not being a bigot and not being a racist is, is just actually just being disappointed. But you meet enough of those, enough people, yeah, and you're like, they're not oh, they're just completely just yeah. normal, the same. Yeah, you know, you're like, it's uh, you know, like, you I build it. You're just like, oh, you're just a country. Like, oh, they're, yeah. they're just like you build kids. them all up and up and up, and you go, actually, I met a nice French person. Yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, oh I thought they were all arrogant. Totally. It's lies. I'm quite disappointed to find out. Yeah. That uh, Emmanuel smiled. Was nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He smiled and he, yeah, he opened the door for me. And do you know what? He wasn't even having an affair. Amazing. Yeah. And he said, "My stew was nice." I yeah. couldn't, <laughs> couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe but it. My Emmanuel. dad. But there was the gay, the marriage equality referendum. So my cousin is gay, and for years he was in a <laughs> secret that was over in London and doing very well in the bank, and you know had this older, handsome flatmate, and we didn't, we weren't really allowed to ask about him, and then. You know, bit by bit, we were like, okay, he's gay. It was unspoken about. My mother, my aunt, my Nora said, I heard you met John in London. Don't tell anybody about him. I'd find your dad to be too shocked. And then my dad would say, my mother would say, don't tell Nora that we know. And it was this strange thing. And then when the the referendum came, I went home to vote. Aoife and Maeve, my sisters, went home to vote. My mother, and we were all like, easy peasy. Yes, marriage equality. And my dad was like, I'm going to vote no. Well, no, we what? Like, Whoa. And he said, maybe I'll spoil my vote. He has this really weird thing where he has to vote. And even if he doesn't know what it's about or agree, he'll go in and do something. So he went in. We all went in. Tick, 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 boom. Yeah, progressive and cocaine. We were out. We were waiting for dad. And he didn't appear from anywhere. And we were a bit worried. Did he have a stroke? Does he think he's in a little bookies? Is he putting a bet on marriage equality five <laughs> to one? Like, where is he? And then he came out. And I've never seen my dad cry. Huh? Ever. Never. 
right? And he was shaking. Some guy was bombing him up the ass and he locked him. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. You know? <laughs> All these years I didn't understand. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what they do. Who's in this boot? Ooh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> it was that's ex- all it was. It was just somebody with a little prostate wand, I called them. <laughs> <laughs> a penis is a prostate yeah. wand. Imagine, imagine if that was part of the marriage equality yeah. book. You actually had to <laughs> experience it and then vote. <laughs> to understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to go, if you want to know what it's like to walk a mile in my shoes, if you want to know what it's like, take a cock up the ass yeah. well, and then decide. Yeah. And then decide. Yeah. Instead this, of a this, mile. This booth is for the undecided. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the haunted house where it's just penises come like glory hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he was in the booth anyway. The glory hole. He was in the booth. booth. He was, he was, and he was, and he came out and he was shaking. And he was shaking. And now, previous to this, a few years ago, my dad had been principal of um, a very high profile, bo- macho boy secondary school. And there was a ge- boy who came out when he was principal. And my dad was like, you're going back in. You know, it's a Catholic school. We're not going to talk about that. He just was like, no. And the lads used to tease this guy. They used to, call, they used to always say, smell a bent off you. Smell a bent off you. That was the thing they used to say. Smell, what's that? Smell a bent. And oh. I don't, my dad didn't really do enough about it. Now, he was kind of coming towards retirement. He just didn't understand. He didn't understand why they'd be talking about it. And he just didn't want to deal with it. Like, don't. So I remember just being a bit annoyed with him about that. But then... So he was in the booth, he comes out, he's shaking, and then there was a tear, and we couldn't believe it, because even my mother was like, and he just went, Mary, that's my mother's name, that's not his new gay name, mm-hmm. he said, Mary, I've made a mistake, I've made, I just thought of John, that's their cousin, I just thought of John, and I voted yes, I don't know why, I made a mistake, <laughs> we, and we were so, we couldn't believe it, well, he yeah, changed, mistake, but yeah, we yeah, couldn't yeah. also cope with his emotion, and we didn't know what to do, and we should have just given him a hug, but I just went, oh, I smell a bent off you. <laughs> 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 it was kind of funny, like, my mother didn't get it, my, my sisters got it, my dad was just like shaking, like, I made a mistake, but yeah, so he, he was, he opened, maybe was, I was going to say he opened his mind, and he opened his eyes. Asshole. He didn't open his asshole at all. <laughs> it was firmly clenched. But um, yeah, maybe that's what people thought. They thought that if, yeah, I think they thought that everybody would turn gay, and um, that that would be a bad thing. But I think men mm. should be happy. It was definitely if very you're a much straight like man. Backward superstitious thought. Yeah. About what homosexuality is. You know? Like I hope to God that loads of women turn lesbian because then it's more men on the market for me. Yeah. There you go. All I want. Yeah. All I want is I'm so supportive of the LGBTQ plus community because I want them straight. As long as there's lesbians. For me. <laughs> so you're saying. <laughs> oh yeah, you see, it would work very good. Me, please. Less gay men because that's <laughs> less in my pool, and it's the ones I want as well. Because my. It's a shame because gay men really keep themselves in good shape. No, they're the, my I, my ideal man is gay from the from the waist up, like the mind of a gay man. Oh, yeah. The thoughts of a gay man, <laughs> the clothes of a gay man. Not all man. the thoughts of a gay man. If no, you not all the thoughts. The, the visible abdominal muscles of the gay man, yeah. but the penis of a straight man. That's what I want. Uh, Shoes yeah. of a gay man. Perfect. It's almost like we have to recondition. Uh, I've watched Max, you know, from a baby play group. He's crawling around. In the center of Dublin, there's babies from everywhere. Yeah. Where, all different where, backgrounds. And where, I'm, where, I'm, what is this baby pool like in the center of Dublin? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a baby <laughs> pool. Babies oh, there's there's babies the everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> this is a particular... Yeah. Location? It's just like yeah. in the center of Dublin, there's a lot of babies. There's just babies all, all over. Is it is it crash? Oh, cultures and grades. Yeah, yeah, crash and playground. <laughs> okay, it's a crash. I just imagined around the spire, there's all these kids <laughs> ring, ring, ah, Rosie. You have a euro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all these babies. I want a chopper chop. chop. You got a euro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's like you see, you see, like when we were kids, like you just wanted to interact. So all these kids are interacting. When they're toddlers, they're just interacting. They see some like a toy they like. They all go over. They all like the only thing Have they the only thing they deal My with toy. is maybe sharing. You know, I want that. I want that. But then in the end, they all they're all grand. And then whatever it is that your parents where you live, then you start become bigoted in some way. Mm. So it's almost like you got to you go. It's like restoring factory settings on human beings. Oh, I yeah, see yeah, what yeah. you get mean. Back to, get back to the basics. Yeah, and and when we were born, we don't come out going. Do you know what I don't like? Those Bulgarians. You know, no <laughs> one like that. Never. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Well, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see twenty years from now just how fucking because the kids now are growing up. Max is growing <laughs> up when everything in the fucking education is like, look, this is what uh, gay is. This is what this is, and it's all cool. 
Mm. Whereas we grew up with smell a bent off you. Yeah, and it was and like socially acceptable. Yeah. Mm. And I like what's going to happen? What, like it's I hope it's going to be like, like in a comedy club, you don't make fun of what someone looks like, unless it's a bloke, then that's fine. But you don't... <laughs> <laughs> no, but you don't... Know, you, you, but I'm teaching Max this now because he's like, the other day he pointed, he's like, why is that guy so fat? Oh, yeah. Thank God he wasn't in earshot, <laughs> right? There's a big fat dude crossing the road. Why is he so fat? And I was like, you can't... You, you don't make fun of what they look like. Yeah, you can make fun of what people do till the cows come home. And yeah, that's what we do. Did you get Make into, fun of their did you actions. Tell Max why he, this guy was? And then I said, yeah, he probably he eats more than he's, he's working brave. off. He's yeah. a very brave man. He's, he's more, a voluptuous, big, he's beautiful a brave, boy. He's brave. <laughs> he's brave. That's a brave yeah. way to be. But you know what? You, I mean, the, the honesty is, if you see someone who's overweight, is they do whatever they want whenever they want. Yeah, in a yeah. way. But Pretty much. Because yeah. they're brave. Because they're brave. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to eat all that, you eat all that. You yeah. brave motherfucker. He went to an all-you-can-eat restaurant, and guess what? He ate all he could eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have the courage <laughs> yeah. to eat all you can eat? <laughs> yeah. Only one man. I, just, I get really jealous of, um, of, um, of plus-size models. I've I'm had really enough. Jealous. No, you have not. Quit it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too brave. To yeah. Not yeah. I'm really jealous of plus size models because, especially they're really big. Because I am uh, I'm an alcoholic, but I I have to keep that addiction in check. You know, I can't go around like they get to wear a bikini and everyone's like, "You're so brave." Like I don't go get, be all drunk and then go in a bikini and be like puking into in a, a photo bin. shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so, brave. so brave, so She's brave, so brave. She's in a decision to be drunk all the time. The photo of you leaning <laughs> yeah. off the side of the backdrop. Yeah. It's like, yeah, look how yeah. brave she is. She's not, even in, she's not even in shot. Look how brave she is. I know. Is. Bile matching her beautiful green bikini. She's so brave. There's, there's, there's men Big feeders. There's men feeders. We've watched documentaries about these men that are, that are feeding mm. their, their wives so they, yeah. they become huge. Mm. Is there women what feeders? Yeah, that's great. all women. I think it's just called feeders. It's like an E4 it's thing, all probably. Women. E4, geez, they, have, they, cover they, they cover everything. They cover everything. As long as there's so people with disorders. E4 are making a film yeah, about that's you. always yeah. been my delight is I haven't been asked on an E4 documentary. As long as I'm that, I'm all yeah, right. Yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah. fine in my life. Yeah. But they're, yeah, feeders. Um, but women are, all women are feeders. I think my mother is a feeder. I think she's going to be in a documentary. Italian nonnas. Eat, eat, <laughs> you know, yeah. your skin and bones, eat. Yeah. Feeders, Italiana, yeah. every nonna. <laughs> do you just eat. have Irish blood, Damo, or do you have any other blood? Who knows? Australia, when you're a white Aussie, you could be a bloody bit of everything. Yeah, Funny you enough, don't really go, oh, I'm Irish, story. Australian. Nobody says that in Australia. Yeah. No, no, because we, have. but the pa paperwork got lost a lot along the way. If it, I mean, to be honest, I think if you're, a, if you're Australian and you have a paper trail, then you were probably one of the bad dudes. Yeah. You know, you, gotta, you, yeah. Gotta, you, know, you want to you want to be a, you want to be from the convict. You want to have no yeah, choice. Yeah, you want to be Ned Kelly's great great. -great um, yeah, grandson. I'm hoping that I my great great grandparents were stole a pig or a loaf of bread. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. You want to do, petty theft, <laughs> wrong wrong Kids. place, wrong time. Da 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 da. Yeah. Bingo. And uh, you know, against authority and that sort of you stuff. Need but to I mean, just get famous enough to be on Who Do You Think You Are? Yeah, and but, then but you trace but it back. The Clark family were thrown out of Ligo. <laughs> <laughs> Stole a handkerchief. He was so brave. He ate a full <laughs> family's farm. <laughs> <laughs> he ate in front of the children. He's eating a meal. Yeah. Get it? Arrest him. He's Send him brave. off. He's brave. Leave him off. <laughs> yeah. Send him off. And uh, so, but in, in answer to, I think it's uh, Mum's side a lot from Ireland, Northern Ireland. They trace back my dad's. My dad's mum is from Glasgow, and there's some. I did the DNA thing. I answered. Well, my, my mum did it, so yeah. And she got like, yeah, yeah. Scotland, a bit of Cornwall, Ireland, and then a bit of Germany and Dutch. So there oh, you go. They're good. Yeah, I can yeah. see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But who knows how much of each. We're white, whatever. Well, actually, you should. You know, it should. It, we're it we're should white place. <laughs> ro ro wrong time. Is that right, wrong time? <laughs> Such a bad film. Something it sounds to do like with a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, a mildly racist <laughs> yeah. Chinese gag or something. <laughs> like, white place, wrong time. Yeah. Wrong time. <laughs> yeah. I meant to say wrong time, but I am racist if I'm Australian. So there There's you go. all so. these doc or films in the 80s and 90s where it would be like, one white dude is adopted by a family of black people and he doesn't know he's white. A hilarity will ensue. Yeah. Yeah. One white guy is a family of Indians and he doesn't realize he's not Indian. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know. It's like the... I'm gonna be well, the yeah, because the jerk did it well with Steve Martin. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. great. And then the 90s came along and they were like, let's do loads of Steve Martin copies. Um, but you're... Uh, yeah, so you've got a mixed uh, white heritage 
you know in America there's all like different uh, ethnicities of like Irish American, uh, Jewish American, Italian American, uh, African American, right? And then they have their own communities. Have you been to America? Yeah, mm. they've got their own communities, and they're very distinct communities, and they often keep to their own. When I was there anyway, the Irish Americans uh, they were very welcoming. But I was like, is there anyone else here? They're like, no, it's all Irish Americans. I was like, okay, well, that's, uh, so you're all buddies. And, um, and, that's and the then place. they were telling me, yeah, and over the bridge, that's where the uh, Jewish people live. And uh, across from that one, that's uh, African Americans. And over there is the Italians. I was like, really? So that kind of, they're like, yeah, that's Chicago. I was like, oh. Well, they, <laughs> Chicago, <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> that was the area in Chicago. My I, was in, and they were, I was like, wow, I didn't know it was so fucking, uh, you're there, we're here. Just pockets of but stuff. But is, is it in Australia, do people, are they like, oh, we're Italian Australian? Uh, we're Irish Australian or they're just like we're all like oh we're all Australian yeah there's a little bit of that but not as much it's diluted a bit more I think oh, okay Melbourne is great in the fact that there's a lot of Greeks and Italians and that, I think the most population of Greek people outside of Greece that's what they say so that means the food is fan bloody tastic and there is Ligon Street where there is and I'm sure there is like there, I'm, I'm sure there's rivalry between I don't know if it's restaurants or whatever who knows <laughs> that's, it, that's probably all it is <laughs> I am Australian ah. yeah. I was right yeah the mixture of different cultures is always going to create it's like something. Louis C.K. now he's done some bad things but his comedy is very good but he's got <laughs> a lot of um, he's 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 uh, got Irish in him, Mexican, and Jewish. Yeah. It's what a good. fucking yeah. golden mix. Yeah. 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 Jesus, they're All the ones you want. All he needs is like, African American, yeah. and he's got the full suite of Yeah, he can joke about yeah. anything. Everything. Yeah. Everything goes. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, like Russell Peters, he's from Toronto. I'm not sure if I'm sure where exactly his family from, but it's like I- India, and he nails it. Like he does Russell mm. Peters, and it's sort of arena comics. He makes fun of. He did it. He was in the London store, the comedy store. He was trying something out before his arena gig in the O2 the next night and I met him and he went up and everyone gets it from around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like he does a Chinese do sort of crouch down, have a cigarette. Yeah, Little things like that. I never he did thought that. about that, but when he says it, I He did it, it was so yeah. funny. Just yeah, yeah. The, these mannerisms, the accent, it was just so yeah. funny. Yeah, That's he is. Good. It works. He's so a cheeky guy, but he's fucking great. You get away with a lot. You could get away you know, with... You know, your new show as that as you're doing, f- White Place Wong Time. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Tamo's, White Place Wong Time. Tamo's, uh, trip to China. 100 Chinese <laughs> characters in one hour by Tamo White Clark. Place Wong Time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I'll do the guy crouching over having a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> what was People in <laughs> Xinjiang are like this, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Tamo's, cut it out. Yeah. How about the Beijing guys? <laughs> yeah. It was funny, you know, we were talking... We rang Des Bishop the other day just because we were uh, seeing if he was in town in the summer the two, for, I for like bookings the two of you him well I rang him but then we put on speaker because no, we, we were just talking about this stuff no, you, you talked to Des but we were just like it was so funny because Des he learned look, fluent Irish then he went to he went to Beijing I think he, but he learned he's fluent in, in Mandarin he's like man Ireland's such a small popu- like small population you learn Irish nah I mean to go with the biggest population learn that language and then he learns a whole year learns Mandarin and then and then you're like, oh yeah, but you're not allowed free speech. So you can't do it. You can't do a China to say what you want, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. unless it's all hail communism. Oh yeah. my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Pro-communist jokes. That's what you're going to be joking. My favourite thing because I saw Des' show in the Edinburgh Fringe when he was doing because he toured as well. But when he was doing his show about living in China, and then the Chinese people would go and watch it, and then he'd do half that, and then he'd talk to them. It was just great watching him talk to people in the crowd. They say things to him. He say things. Then he interprets it, and then interprets it, and then they li- and then he'll explain what they say and how they say it, and the tones and all that. It's so interesting. It's I think it's, it might be on they might must, be on YouTube now. That they must that allow show. some stand up to <coughs> in China. Yeah, it it's it, it like like speakeasies, like actual speak. Like the one oh, I think really? the There's underground kind of thing. I think like, he was. I think there's was sure there's in like, like plays on words and stuff. Yeah. He said yeah. that there was very play on word based. Like he, they would be like phone, microphone. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so much a- 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 white, white time, time one long place. place. Please, can I open for you? I would love to open for you. I don't know what Eddie can do, but like I've got, I've got what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> microphone yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it was very but that's not because they're Chinese it's because they were learning English as a foreign language so they're they're focused on the words you yeah know, but oh yeah yeah, yeah. so interesting that's great yeah. but I think that was a, that was a gig in a library or something like they had upstairs in the library or something there myself was, and Teddy do in, um, gigs in other languages that's yeah. true yeah, one language do. in particular one and language. then will you break down Irish to so like do you talk about how you're saying it as well like will you do a joke and then go 
oh, like in English it's this, but then I had to change it to this because of this. Is when there any of that? Because Irish is a, it's, it's a long language. Like it's long. Like one word, well, you know, there's no yes or no, is there? There's no, no you're there's, very, that's very so, good, So, so what is the, what's the translation of yes? Sure. Well, oh, that is, that is. Niha. You can use sha and niha, but I have to answer with the verb. So if I said, are you going to the gym? You would say, I am going to the gym. I am not going to the gym. You wouldn't actually, sha or niha has become like adopted as yes and no, but. Yes, yeah, it's, it's grammatically. It's not, it's not really good. Ah, yeah. so, so you say sha, people, but it's not. Say, uh, that's why uh, like older Irish people say, oh, I wouldn't be doing that now. You don't need all those words. You know, I wouldn't be doing that. Like, it's conditional and then present. But in Irish, it would be niyening a shin. So I would, you know, they, it's still kind of in the grammar. Or I love that yeah, how I it's, be doing this, instead of learning English shin. and then and answering it in English, it's it's the English translation of what you would say in Irish. Yeah, mm. That's why I like, and then everyone still talks like that. Yeah, yeah and the best be part that. is that it confuses English people. Yeah. Because yeah. they're like, uh, 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 you know, oh, will we go out for a drink? Oh, I wouldn't be doing that. It's like, you wouldn't be doing that when? Or yeah. you know, it's, kind of, it's conditional. <laughs> they're like, yeah. you're per, it's per, yeah. if you're not from the place, it's quite perplexing just being yeah, like, the, what? The, what? The, yeah. It is very, it is perplexing because I don't know what condition is it, especially Europeans, they can't understand. But yeah. I used to work as a tour guide in Kilkenny Castle and there was no brochures in the castle because it was government and it just took so long. So, but everyone expected a brochure. So, um, um, Europeanos would come in and they'd be like, have you a, can I have a brochure? Europeanos, is that Europeans. what you call them? <laughs> <laughs> Europeanos. <laughs> I said that. Is that, that the first you've ever heard? It? No, no. Europeanos. Uh, European, no, I've never heard that before. An ex-boyfriend heard of, that. of mine used to call them Europeanos, and I always call it Europeanos, and it's just a reference to him in my mind. Like, it makes no sense. It, I should stop saying it. I thought I got away with it. You picked up on it. Little razor ears there. Yes. Yeah, so little Europe razor ears. <laughs> as if not. <laughs> razor. Everyone heard of Europeanos. I said Wong, okay, well, White I Place, Wong yeah, Time, and, uh, and you, oh, Europeanos. Wait, I podcast with it. White Place, Wong Time, the Europeanos. <laughs> we'll call this the three white people being racist I didn't special. I call them Europeanos. I call them Europeanos. 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 Everyone say, from Europe is a paedophile. Hey, hey, so I was working in Cook County Castles, and a uh, hundred Europeanos came in. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, where's the brochures? Where are the kind children? Of other kind of Europeano. And um, there is a, no, so they used to say. European. Then, yeah, that's a, a, a real Aussie. That's like, Europe. Penis. The <laughs> Americans would come in and they would say, may I or can I have a brochure? As That's like, right. they would assume that you had a brochure because it's customer service based space mm. and they, they, they are entitled, not in a bad way, and then they would ask for what they assumed you had. Can I have a brochure? And we're like, sorry, we don't have a brochure. Right? Europeans yeah. <laughs> would say, uh, do you have a brochure? Which is the most basic thing. Yeah. I, I, do you have a brochure? You don't, okay, I am going to smoke a cigarette, right? <laughs> then Irish people, especially Irish men of a certain age, would kind of come in and they kind of give you a side look, like, you know, just because they can't really look at women full front because the they're like horses, they might scare. And they're like, I don't suppose, I don't suppose <laughs> you'd have an old brochure there now. Something like that. Yeah, like how yeah, many yeah. extra words, how much kind of, expectation of not having like building those hopes up they don't you know i don't yeah. suppose you'd have an old brochure there now would you <laughs> 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 so they're expecting you not to have it they're asking yeah. three questions yeah. 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 they're they've set you up for failure so they're making you comfortable they're making themselves comfortable with the failure and they, like and they are, are afraid now we don't uh, we don't actually have one now. Sure, that's the way it is, isn't it? Ah, sure. And then, of course, yeah. But the good thing about the yourself. good thing about that, saying yeah. I don't suppose you'd have an old brochure, would you now? Yeah. The good thing about that is <laughs> that it, it opens up uh, a, a potential for a full chat about yes. anything. Yes. yes. It's so, like I don't like, suppose yeah. I tell you, we I used don't to. actually. We don't have any at the minute. Ah, sure. Okay. I thought I didn't think he had anyway. Yeah. And sure. Then, you know yourself. Know, it's like ah, sure. We used to have back in the day. We used to have them. Yeah. Sure. But you know yourself now. It's Duke to the Heritage Service and used to be the OP to Ah, sure. I know the OPW now and I try to extend the house they stop the plan and permission yeah. and, and then they start oh the Irish men used to come in the, the Irish Country People's Association or something used to come in and these women would drag it's like what you said Damo with, with every woman doing something nice there's a man who absolutely hates being there right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You, that's you I was like that's yeah. so true I just reminded me of working in the castle so you'd have these women oh beautiful now isn't that lovely and isn't it great Let, tell me more about this very boring Anglican family that worked in this house oh yes and the men would be so bored they'd be sweating and they they would start just 
Aideen's up. Digging the fixtures Just and kicking fitting, the kicking stuff. <laughs> and they wouldn't even be kicking the old stuff. They'd be kicking the modern stuff, like, and seeing, you know, if it was load-bearing walls and what's that made out of now? Is that stainless steel? The price is stainless steel these days. And I'm like, I am not equipped to answer these questions, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they'd be so bored. And then they want, they couldn't get their brochure and they would suppose that we didn't have it. But there was just at the time when Eastern Europeans were starting to come into tourism in Ireland. It's nearly 20 years ago. And um, they, um, I remember one Russian man came in with his family and they looked really wealthy. Like he was uh, like smell of oligarch, you know. What's like oligarch? Oligarch is like... Uh, uh, elite. <laughs> elite, wealthy Russian people, billionaires. They can be from anywhere. Like it's your man who was Chelsea. Russian is particularly famous for their oligarchs because... There's a handful of them and they run the country. So oh, oligarchs the, is a type Chelsea, of person? Is it a yeah. class or a type of person? It's a class. Right. So, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, a class. So it's not like a type it, of person. When I mean, he said the smell of oligarch, I thought he went, oh, it must be some sort of like uh, <laughs> wood beautiful, smell. Yeah, by Hugo Boss, oligarch. Yeah. The smell of oil oligarch. and gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so like monopoly is when one person owns everything and then an oligopoly is when a few people own everything. So the oligarch uh. is like, what's your man who owned Chelsea? A Roman Abramovich. A Roman Abramovich. Yeah, so it was, Roman came in and I winked at him. and Hi, Roman. No, but this man, he looked like he made a lot of money fast yeah. in something that was unregulated in Russia. And he had this huge camera, like massive, massive camera. Like it was like a child attached to him. And he had his, like, his, his um, high BMI son. And they were really happy. <laughs> <laughs> brave. And he was Very brave high, boy. Very high, brave. He was high BMI. Son was high in BMI. But they were nice. They were shining. The bravery metric index. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he came in and he looked around and he just walked up to me and he went, I know you don't have a leaflet in Russian. And he just walked off and said, ha, 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 ha. Really? That was it. Yeah. He's like, you're correct. And yeah, he's you're correct. Joking, I, yeah. He was like, that's an even more negative attitude mm. than, you know, the Irish. Yeah. I was like, that's amazing. They, they mm. don't think you have it and they're the going dark. to announce it. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. know. You're I not know as good as I want you to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm happy about Never it. Never have hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that is, do you know, That's if you were to attitude. write a short yeah. story about a Russian attitude, that is very good. Or just a one minute play. Yeah. Never have hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it fights a black. Yeah. Although now, <laughs> have you used Google Translate on your phone's uh, camera? And you can put it up to anything and it translates oh, the text in so if you've no. got a brochure in Spanish and you're like, Oh, I don't suppose you have this in Russian <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, just take Actually, your phone out do. and press yeah. translate to Russian and it'll read the brochure Amazing. and translate. Is that an app? No, it's just your if you've got do you have an Android phone? I do of course. Yeah. And then sure look, you just take your phone out, put the camera on and you swipe a little bit and it says translate. I never saw that's amazing. Yeah, it's a game changer. It's I mean I don't often changer. have things in another language but because i used to do tours in french i'm sure i only had leaving cert french it was terrible value <laughs> for the people i had to endure my tour so what you knew left <laughs> and right and what other words what other words you? One and leaving cert. you know i was i was good but i had to like i really had to learn it off by heart and, and look at I this <laughs> like what 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 like things I, would you have like, to say in french yeah, there's there's like there's horse hair that is behind the wallpaper that was that to insulate and i had this line about I, I got. I did it a few times, and it was only when the fr actual French girl was out, and they had a group of French people. And French people are like, "Oh, it has to be in French, or we all fuck off." So, but I remember at one stage they, uh, I, I was going, and this is beautifully preserved. There's there's loads of preservatives behind on the wall to preserve the horse hair. It's full of preservatives behind the wallpaper. Okay, and everyone was like shocked and looking around at all disgusted what did she say and then afterwards i talked to the french girl and she was like no 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 false friend you know the language words that's similar but that's the same preservative doesn't mean preservative in french preservative is the french word for condom right so i just said <laughs> so loads of condoms <laughs> loads and loads of condoms just loads of condoms spread all over the wall under the wallpaper right any questions <laughs> any questions thought, about the I condoms thought they, I thought they were disgusted because I thought it was like preservatives like E114 <laughs> oh, monosodium no. glutamate no, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's disgusting oh, <laughs> what is this what is this <laughs> anthem gum <laughs> Because they're French, they're Salt quite hot. In the wall. about sex, they were like, hey, but it's not a bad idea. I understand why. Yeah. You have to be with that. You oh, please. Yeah. So then, and then the other thing I did was, I, I asked everybody, il faut que vous alignez 
<laughs> sous la plaque, planche or something like that. I said, but I got the word for line up and lie down <laughs> mixed up. So these two kids of about 10 just lay down on the ground. You're like, lie down on the ground. Give us all your money. Yeah. <laughs> Before the tour, so they made us lie down on the so ground. Bad. It was like Manuel <laughs> giving a tour. White like, place, yeah. long time. <laughs> long time. Yeah, and like long time, I think. Of me. I wouldn't do it now, and I have such much better French now. But I think it's like that Dunning Kruger effect. The less you know, the more you can think I can do this. Love the Dunning Kruger. Like I've been in France twice. If I just write it out and learn it off like the Leave Insert, it'll be fine. And it was, but it was entertaining for them. Stand up <laughs> yeah. comedy is chronic for the Don and Kruger effect. Yeah. Because everyone starts comedy and they don't know, as I mean, it happened to me, you don't know how hard it is to get like a sharp, even just a sharp set together to, that has a good rhythm, yeah. that uh, your, your persona works in it and that it's got, you know, a gag no, rate. No, not at You've all. no clue. You, you go up and you do a bit that you think is funny and you get a couple of laughs and. In your head, you're like, geez, it worked. I got laughs. I fucking, I yeah. fucking, I think I know how to do this. I don't know, after a few months, you're, you're picking up the little skills. The more you do, the less the more, you realize and then, and then, you and can do the it. The Dunning-Kruger <laughs> effect is like, at the start, when you start something, you don't know all the elements of it. So you think you've... You think, oh, yeah, as long as I can talk into the market, as long as I can hear me, I'll rip it. Yeah, you've yeah. a false yeah. confidence, like several people around the circuit. And you have, you have too much confidence. Almost. Uh, but then as you learn more and more, yeah. you realize actually there's way more to this. And then your confidence goes down um, and then it goes back up. Yeah, eventually. it was like when I went to college first, I studied Irish and I thought, oh, sure, I'll just become a lecturer. It looks easy. They just have to do six hours a week. It's brilliant. And then in second year, I was like, mm, maybe I'll just be a tutor. And then by third year, I was like, I'll be lucky to pass this degree. You know, just yeah, the no. more I did, the if more you went I to America, though, you could have been a lecturer. They fucking snapping them up. Yeah, oh, they love those Irish. Uh, I could have been, yeah, folklorist. I could just, yeah, it'd be so easy make to make up any old story. Oh, about, yeah. Yeah. I'm weaving my hair into my pubes, and it's going to play it. It's called an auto harp. Yeah, amazing. What's the thing you called when you think you have a lot of confidence, but you don't know the Dunning Kruger? Yeah, Dunning Kruger. I was probably more confident when I first started because of that. I don't, I never remember being nervous early. Do you, I Do you remember? Oh, we, oh, the first gig I had, I was so nervous. I got so dressed up because I was like, it's a night out, so I, I, anything to kind of... <laughs> <laughs> right? My big night so out. So dressed oh, up. That I basement had this, with 20 smelly open micers. padded bra, like from Primark. This, like, it was like two American footballers' shoulder pads in my top. There was How more old were you material. when you fir- did your first gig? I was 29. There was like two big things, yeah. So nobody, nobody wants a dolly bird coming up really nervous, dolly bird with a padded bra, mm. more material in my bra than my jokes. My hair was like as high as that and loads of makeup on, the fake tan on <laughs> <laughs> Big <laughs> lashes. Oh, yeah. I invented and, Botox. I stuck oh, that, it in yeah, place. Just for that, that can add to the act though sometimes. It could be, which I didn't even know. I, and That'd and be a great character act. Yeah, yeah, it could actually. What, yeah. what, what women think that they want to look like because of Kim Kardashian, but yeah. over the top. I didn't have how the, it could go the wrong. padded ass because it wasn't around then. Wouldn't it be funny? Yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm beautiful. That. I'm yeah. beautiful. <laughs> you know what women, they're going to be so I'm beautiful. You know, it's massive lips. Oh, they're, when their yeah. lips are overly yeah. full. They disabled yeah. themselves to be beautiful. Have you met someone like that who can't, they've developed a speech impediment because of the... No. Over, I know they exist. You just they need do to exist. go to the ILAC. ILAC. Yeah, you need to go to the ILAC. Yeah. Do they do exist? Yeah. Yeah. You go to the ILAC? Yeah, yeah. You go to the ILAC to get a cheap pair of runners and get your face fixed. Yeah, yeah. The, the, no, there's a lot of that in the ILAC um, centre. Girls with the, 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 they have a lips, lips because of the lips. Wow. W299 piece. That's, yeah. Because mm-hmm. it sad. costs, and they it can't use straws. It costs you money and you to can't get whistle. that. And yeah. then you've got to. Then you spend more money on a, uh, elocution. Yeah, yeah. It's a vicious <laughs> You're broke. Cycle. You just fucking broke the whole time. <laughs> and then you see a photo of them before they got it done and it turns out they were lovely looking yeah. earlier. And you're like, ah, oh, what were you doing? How much for the lips? A thousand. How much for the elocution? Another thousand. Yeah, oh, I don't wow. think any of them get an elocution. I think they have everything <laughs> to spend their money on. But Pamela Anderson, because uh, it's all about her now, I watch, I looked at her Playboy photos from before she got plastic surgery. She mm. was the one of the most beautiful she people was. you oh, could yeah. ever see. She would perfect body, Did you watch that documentary breasts. on Netflix? I haven't it? watched it yet. Me and Eve are going to watch it. I like Pamela. It's great. So you want, it's a real sisterly yeah. activity. Yeah, we see, I used to love Baywatch. It was the only thing our whole family would watch together. And for well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't switch it off. I suppose it was all no, straight people, actually, isn't it? So it was all straight people. You can watch that. 
And you see, we didn't really, because it was actually very moralistic tales. There would be people who were always saved. Anybody who did something bad, something, they drowned. Like, so it was very, it was just that they were super hot and overly exposed physiques. Mm. But they never showed any sex. They never had anything. It was actually weirdly, there was, it was in this realm of stuff, before there was supposed a readily available porn, if you watch television from the 70s, 80s and 90s, they'd have really scantily clad women in it. Sometimes, a little bit men as well. And like really long shots of women's bodies and stuff. And I suppose it's because they didn't have porn in the way that they have now. So this was like great, kind of like a mm. a little gateway into it. Tell like if you watch old episodes of The Love Boat, yeah. it'll just be a woman. The slow motion starts. Get out of it, quick, go make a cup of tea, quick. Make me a cup of tea, quick. And then the lads in school were video being slow Baywatch. cup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really boil it, really boil it. And some, really boil and some it. toast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, boil it three times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like not a, hot enough. Yeah. I really <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, it's hot enough now. Triple well, uh, boil. Uh, Where's yeah. my tea? <laughs> no, I tea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A minute later. Where's my tea? <laughs> The, the episode's <laughs> over. I'll tell you what happened another time. Yeah. <laughs> and then videoing Baywatch. Oh, the Baywatch. Yeah, videoing Baywatch. I'll be there. I'll oh, be there. Careful. That's a great fucking yeah. show. <laughs> and I remember there was an episode of Baywatch where my mother was crying. For the whole Did they episode. drown in the end? <laughs> yeah. uh, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> well, I might have. You're wiping the screen. They Some, probably did. Something drowned. Something drowned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this character of really cocky, <laughs> masturbating boyfriend. And it's a husband. It's a, it's a husband, yeah. husband and wife. They're like 30 yeah. years married. And okay. she still doesn't know that he masturbates yeah. secretly <laughs> to Baywatch every time it's she makes it. It's tea. a danger wank, really, that one. It's a great <laughs> danger wank. And then she's telling Preta, you'll never guess. He thinks that you need to triple boil tea. Have you ever heard <laughs> anything in your life? Uh, if you're not finished by the end of the slow motion run, you're like yelling at the TV, <laughs> slow emotion, slow emotion, <laughs> drag it out, drag out the run. Yeah. It's all they have. Come on off. I mean, happen. how many, how many, this would be a big number. Like, how many millions of people have jacked off over, like, Pamela, Pamela but then David Hasselhoff popped into the screen. So, how many people have, have wrongly ejaculated yeah. while staring at Hasselhoff? How many poor straight men <laughs> of the 90s I wish that we had, had a <laughs> masturbation <laughs> session that was ruined by a, a quick cut to David Hasselhoff. You're so close. <laughs> Boil the kettle one more time, love. Mm. Ah, it's David ah, Hasselhoff. Ah, that's Hasselhoff. Mitch. Oh, God, God damn, damn Mitch. Damn it. Get me the tea. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that was actually. I don't care if it's half boiled. Just bring me the uh, fucking bring tea. Bring me some milk. That was the problem in the nineties. It was the, the, the <laughs> idea that gay people and education, but gay people would make people gay. But it was actually David Hasselhoff related wanking that caused, oh, I would yeah. say, ninety percent of gay converts. Yeah. yeah. C J and Mitch. Yeah. yeah. C J Mitch. Yes. Um, summer. I met Hasselhoff. <laughs> Did in Eason's on, he did a book very, signing very in Eason's. Well. Yeah. Did a book signing. I, I haven't read the book. Apart. Man, it was so friendly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, it was a book signing. You can't be grumpy on that day, you know. <laughs> no. The queue was all the way down Abbey Street. We waited. Me and Sandra, we went, we waited, and uh, we got a photo. And he was like, "Hey, he was like, hey, Dave, brilliant." And he's like, "I think I called him Dave by accident." Wow, but, um, how embarrassing! Well, yeah, you but he gave everyone a minute. So you know, he gave everyone a minute. But it wasn't like timed. But he, he made sure he talked yeah. to everyone and da, 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 and then they would be like, "Okay, next." You know, the, yeah. the, he, he had a couple of people that were like. Yeah, so he's not the bad guy. So he's not the bad guy. You always want that if you're doing a book signing. Mm. You know, you I'll, I'll chat to you forever. Oh, the, the someone's saying you gotta sorry, go. Sorry, sorry, yeah, but not me. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll go into business together. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, make me a cup of tea, will you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm coming back yeah. on screen. Imagine in the queue, people start like wanking them. Oh, sorry, it's a habit. It's a habit. Sorry, I don't know what yeah, came it's over me. Yeah, Pavlovian dog. I just yeah. can't help yeah. it. Yeah, Pamela Anderson. Well, speaking muscle of cues, muscle memory, muscle memory. Speaking yeah. of cues. Uh, uh, what time is it? The Crackton Comedy Club is about to start. Oh, Jesus. What time is it? It's five past seven. Link. Five past seven. Okay, we're, we got to go. Uh, I had other things. We were going to actually talk about comedy, but we'll do that next time, Aideen. We did this last time. <laughs> we just ended up talking <laughs> about Britain's Got Talent. I did want to say one thought was the, uh, oh yeah, we talked about uh, LGBT and progress. Yeah. I sometimes think, what am I wrong about now? That yeah, 20 that's years very down true. the line. That's a good, I think about that people all the People would be time. like, I can't believe you thought that in mm. the yeah. Well, probably animals, eating animals. You're not vegetarian, are you? I'm not vegetarian, no. So I don't suppose you're now a vegetarian now, are you? I don't suppose you'd yeah. be eating meat, would, would you? Would you? It, yeah. it, could be, it could be something like that, something global warming would just yeah. be like, I can't believe, or like, and they'd be saying, <coughs> my mother used to eat meat. And she's, you know, and like, my mother used to eat meat as well. Like people would be shocked that we yeah. ate meat. 
Um, maybe also, I used to think that the future would be like that everyone would just, like men would just get their dicks out and touch their dicks together and to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like a 12, 13, I was like, it's going to be really crazy. People would just touch dicks. It's a good idea. I don't, like, it's, good, it, it's a nice hello. Yeah. yeah. But it's not going to be like that. People have become slightly more prudish in ways. Like that would be very offensive. People are having less sex. Yeah, people are having less sex. Yeah. And we're going back to Victorian times. So things go in cycles as well. So things mm. will overcorrect and then it'll go back. And yeah. the 20s was way more permissive than after the war in the 40s. And the 50s was more conservative. And it feels like it's more conservative in America now than it was when I was younger. Yeah. Like they don't mention mm. abortion or stuff in films. That's a good question for the public. Right in. What do you yeah. think society is doing now, or you yeah. personally, or what will you think like we do now or say now that will be wrong in 20 years' what time? What do you think That's I'm fine. doing wrong right now? What is yeah. Eddie doing <laughs> wrong in his life? That I need to change and uh, it, that people will definitely put me in prison for in the future. Yeah, DM our Insta. Or send us info at crackedincomedy.com. Thank you very much for listening. We have people outside. We need to let them in to see the comedy show. Hey, thank hey. you, 18. Thank you. Give it up for 18. Yay. Yay.